Have you ever wondered how your social media apps allow you to stay logged in when you actually open up the app? So in this video, I'll show you how to actually implement that in our app. So the current situation that we're actually facing is, so our app allows us to log in. So using our credentials, which we implemented from the last video. But now the issue that I'm facing is that if I were to close the app, or to close the app and actually refresh, uh, reopen the app, you would see that it will actually send me to my actual login screen again, which is what I want to fix. So what we do to actually fix such an instance is that we know that in our previous video, we had something called our auth service that we actually created. So we'll just create an instance of auth service. So here in our auth service, we know that the moment we log in, we'll set out our user, right? Whatever we get in our user into our async storage. So we'll need to get that user. So how we go about that is we'll say auth service dot get user. But then we get the results of that. And so we can catch an error if there is like some sort of error. So here we can console.error our actual error. Over here, we can go ahead and actually see what we have. So currently, we can say can log this and we can say current user see this is our current user which is of type result so let's see what happens so we know that the moment we log in we know that this user is logged in so if we say password so set your password to this will log in our user and you'll actually see something over here. So here you'll have like some sort of a current user, which is actually set up. So if we were to reload our app, you'll see that it's actually in local storage. So what you would need to do is actually have an if check over here, which says if our results is not now, then else, then do that. So if our result is not now, okay, let's do this. So if our result is not now over here, so what we'll do is we'll go to the home page, right? So this is gonna go to the tabs, else then just redirect to the login page. So if I were to save this because I'm actually logged in and my actual user, um, state is in local storage. So if I were to save this, this should automatically redirect me to a home page so if i were to close the application and actually reopen it again we should see that this sends me to the home page so now just for interest sake we can go ahead and go to the profile page i think it's the profile page and right at the bottom of the profile page, we can add like some sort of a button, which is a touchable opacity. Touchable opacity. Um, then over here, it's on press. So we'll set this to an on press. Uh, so with this on press, what we'll do is we'll make it an error function and just say handle log out, which is just going to call like a function that I'm going to create right now. And we'll see what actually happens, right? So if I say equals and I say auth 
service equals to a new auth service and I say auth service dot log out I call auth service dot log out so what should happen is this is an async and if I await this here over here um, so with the touchable opacity, what I can do is I'll put in like a text and say this is actually a button. Would it be a button? Let's see. No, this would be wrapped in a view with a text. Actually, no, this would be a text. I think that's how I went about it. Or I have like a, a component called button. I don't know why I'm so clumsy. So I've got a button component, don't I? So if I were to close this, go to components. I think over here, I've got a button component. So if I were to go to my auth, how did I implement my button down here? Let's see, where is login? Oh, okay. I'll just reuse this. Okay, if I go to profile, should it come here? All right, this is gonna be that styles button. This is handle log out. Then here I'll just say this is log out. This is gonna be for log out. Then over here, I'll just copy the button text and the the button. So I go to profile, try to paste this down here. This should solve all my issues. So now what should happen is this is for actually implementing my log out. So if I were to come here, click log out, this actually logs the user out, but there's actually like an issue that I'm actually gonna face, right? So the issue is I did log you out as the user, but I didn't route and push this route to an auth forward slash sign in. But if I reload the page, obviously that should do the trick. So now if I go ahead and actually try to log in, so this would log me in even if I were to close the app so if I go to the profile page now and actually click log out this should send me to a log out so if I were to reload the app again this should have the user as logged out so now we know how to actually implement the functionality of actually automatically logging in a user whilst they open up the app. So with all that being said, if you are new to the channel, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Now, peace.